man. Screw friendships, man. It just freaking hurt. That part-time friend that I have, like, gosh. She's gonna leave, like, so long, you know? What's the point? Like, you're only gonna just be alone in the end, right? Even with friendships, after a certain age, you're just like, it's like done for you. <laughs> Which sucks so bad. Freaking hate it, you know? And I never felt like I had that much experience with relationships anyways. I think the next relationship I got in college was like, it's a funny story. I mean, I don't know. I got to college, I just had that three week relationship in high school and that's all that I had, right? I was pretty desperate. Um, I l lost weight, so I was, had a little more confidence. I remember, um... I remember a girl calling to our dorm room by accident and I talked to her like six hours and we decided to go on a date after that six hours. And I know it seems shallow, but like, we like met up before we went out. We had planned it a few days after and she had just like kissed her few, her first boy like a few weeks earlier. I don't know, just for clarification but anyway like like we got in a position where we kissed and she like wanted she like kissed me a little too much <laughs> like it's a point of like uncomfortableness and I remember like stopping the kiss and like pushing her back and being like let's just wait you know let's hold off I remember she being really excited, and I, I don't know, I don't think I was that attracted to her, like, 100%, and, <laughs> so I was, like, a little scared, <laughs> like, I don't know, she just already started making out with me, she was really excited to make out again, I mean, I don't know, this is college, I don't know, she wasn't super experienced, I wasn't super experienced, I just knew that I didn't want to do it again, right? But I didn't have the guts or experience to tell her no. Like I never told him, I never told anybody no, right? So I just sat there and like I just like accepted life. <laughs> I was freaked out. I remember the night that we were gonna go on a date. We we're gonna go see a movie. I think it was one of the Lord of the Ring Lord of the Rings movies, and like I remember just being scared to death. And this other girl came up and like hey, what are you guys doing? She's way more interesting than the, the other girl. And they both shared the same name, which is even worse. So in my ignorance and my inexperience, I said, hey, you come along with us. We're going to go see this movie. And she was like, sure, because she was interested in me. And I feel like she knew all along that she was, uh, what was happening. <laughs> she still went along with it. So she tagged along as a third party for a date that I didn't want to be on with this other girl because I knew that she would take advantage of me and try to kiss me. And I was just inexperienced enough that I couldn't tell her no. So I invited this other girl that I was more interested in, tag along, and between the two, I like favored the second girl, which is terrible of me. And I didn't know what to do. Like I hadn't dated a lot. I, I didn't know what to do. I was just like going with it. But I was sitting in this Lord of the Rings movie with these two girls on either side of me and being like, what the hell did I get myself into? <laughs> and I, re I remember like, I remember they both started holding my hands by the middle of the movie. And I was just freaking out and on, on the inside. I had no idea what to do. Like I felt like it's such a douchebag. Like I'm like, what the hell do I do with this? And they were like competing for me. And they both had the same name, but one was more attracted to me than the other, and I was more attracted to her than the other. And I remember, like, 
gosh, this is embarrassing to say, but, like, I remember midway through the movie, like, they both wanted me to, like, I do, like, like, light back massages. I don't know. <laughs> this is just what I remember. But I remember, like, middle of the movie, like, them competing over who was giving who a back massage. And I was giving them both a back massage, and I didn't know what to do with myself. I felt like the biggest douchebag alive. And I remember after the movie, and it being a long movie, right? Uh, the girl that I did like thought it was hilarious the whole time. She knew what was going on. And she thought it was so funny. The girl that wanted to make out with me again, the one that, I forgot to tell you, put the tongue down my throat, and I was worried for my safety, um, she was pissed at me. And when we got back from the movie, she spent the next, like, three hours just hammering me. And I felt so guilty in word of the year of her indignation and terrible fury. Like, <laughs> I just sat there and listened to every single word of it. And I'm like, I know, I know, I don't have experience with this. I don't know what to do. I didn't handle it right. I was terrible. I liked the attention. Everything that I really felt, I told her. And it was such a douchebag move of me. Like, it was terrible. Like, I... That was a horrible experience. But I remember... I remember that really well. And I remember getting with the girl that I liked more for the next three months of that semester in college. We were girlfriend boyfriend until she had to go home. She broke it off. And that's when I went, uh, you know, I went on my mission to my church for a couple years. So that was good to get that out of my system. Didn't work out. We didn't stay together. Married my ex-girlfriend. My ex-wife, sorry. And uh, we lived unhappily ever after. Yeah. It wasn't my ex-wife's fault. Man, I feel terrible. I still owe her a deep apology. And that'll come in time. I'm just... I don't know. Still working through it. I still hate myself for not being able to handle like a regular friendship. A regular relationship. I feel like I need someone, but I can't have anybody. It's a, it's a crappy, crappy, crappy swear word type of feeling. So I sit here and just talking to the void. Just pass the days away trying to sleep. <laughs> what a crappy day. <laughs> it was good. I spent the time with my kids today. It was actually a good day. Until I spent time with that part-time friend again. Who has a boyfriend, which we shouldn't be hanging out. It's horrible. I can't say no. I wish you waited like two more weeks to get that boyfriend. <laughs> That's my life. Screw that. <laughs> That's so terrible. I hate myself. Again. Crap. What a stupid night. 